Hallelujah. He's high and lifted up and his train builds the temple. Glory to God, he's in the house. I love the Lord tonight. I know everybody, Sister Nadine needs a touch tonight. She's had a rough day, you know, and everybody, I look around and, and you see so much sickness. I was talking to Brother Childers. Uh, I don't know if I told you all or not. Uh, he had a heart problem and they had to put him in the VA. And when he's in the VA, he's 86 year old, be 87. Uh, they found a modular or whatever it is on his lungs, and they went in and took it off, and they're waiting for the biopsy, and he had to cancel five revivals, and he said, please pray for him, that he's just resting right now at home. He's out of the hospital, and he's resting at home. And then Brother Pettit that comes here and preaches all the time from Hamilton, Ohio, uh, he, uh, he had something on his lungs, and they went down to look in his lungs. They can go down and look into your lungs, and when they come back out, they done something to his esophagus. So now he's in bad shape. And uh, so all of the man, uh, it seemed like the devil is attacked in the ministry everywhere we look. You, you see the real men of God are really being attacked by the enemy. And if there was ever a prophet, Brother Childers is a prophet. He's, I don't say that about many men, but he is a real prophet, a real man of God. And I'll tell you what, he's getting back on the field, though. He said, I'm just waiting to get the results so I can get back on the field. And he said he'll be, he's heading to, I forget where it is. Mississippi or somewhere, praise God. They were in New Mexico, and their 87-year-old still traveling all over the United States. They had just closed 15 meetings, I think it was. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. 87-year-old, praise God. God is good, ain't he? He like old Caleb. Caleb told Joshua, he said, you get, give me the word. I'm going to go up there and get my mountain. I know them Amaleks is on there, them giants, but I'll whip them and get my mountain. Somebody say amen. The age don't have nothing to do with it if you got the anointing. Praise the Lord. God, his mama's getting better, younger every day. She's juicing, doing everything. Praise the Lord. I tell you, you can't keep up with her. Praise God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I want to lift the offering. And if you have something, all right. If you don't, all right. Don't worry about it. God is good. He's supplied every need. We had a miracle during the revival, during our camp meeting. Every preacher's needs was met. I mean, every one of them. Their needs was met to God's glory. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we spent a bunch of money feeding them and taking them out and stuff. And uh, it was some of our tax money and stuff. And I told Bonnie, I said, I don't know. I sold my trailer out here to help the camp meeting. And uh, I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. And all of a sudden, uh, Brother Sloan come up and he gave me some money. And then, then one of the missionaries, Brother Terry, gave me money when I was giving him money. Praise the Lord. <laughs> And uh, I said, man, you ought to keep that money. I said, that's just, that we give it. He said, no. He said, I feel led that you need it. So he gave it back to us. But uh, we, we want to thank God. I want to go to Peru uh, in a few months. In about three months, I want to go to Peru. I think it's August. I want to go to Peru. And uh, we got some churches over there and some people. And I need to get over there. And Brother Terry and them going to set it up. And that's their coolest month. So I want to go with the school. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, I don't mind the heat, but... It sure wreaks havoc on this old man. Praise God. So anyhow, let's pray for them, and let's pray for the offer tonight. And, and you, you got, if you've got a need, let me know, and I'll help you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're not just here to take. We're here to give. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to continue to remember Papa and Mama Johnson. They lost their son. And uh, Brother Shane and them was at the funeral. And uh, she told me he was baptized and everything, but I didn't know he was for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. They said that Brother Johnson told him, said they had to bring four cops out to arrest him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But, you know, if he was, I believe in, he repented when, when, and that he called on the Lord before he left this earth and that his soul was with the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I hope so. Praise God. We never know. We never know about nobody. Praise the Lord. So let's give. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you and praise you tonight. We thank you for this offering, Lord. We thank you for giving those that are here tonight, Father. And if they feel burdened about giving, Lord, they shouldn't give. If they feel, God, that, that it's not right, then let them keep their money, Lord. But bless those that give. And those that don't have the gift, supply their need, Lord. Father, do your riches in heaven bless your people. Return it to them a hundredfold. You said it's your word. You said in this life a hundredfold and in the world to come a hundredfold. 
Remember Brother James tonight. Remember Donnie Branch and his kidneys, Lord. Yes. And all the problems he's having, Lord. Remember Brother Pettit this night, Lord. Remember Brother uh, uh, Chillers tonight and his wife, God, that are trying to go forward and not backing up from the, from the ministry and the work of God. Remember all those that are shut up here, Mama and Papa, Lord uh, Mullins, Lord, move for them, God. Everyone in this building tonight, touch them and bless them. And we're anxious for a word from heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on up, brother. Sing us one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I love the Lord today. Jesus is good. Yes. I tell you, that was the best Bible we had in this church. I, I saw this little boy got happy. Yeah, mm -hmm. boy, he was singing. He was singing about the Lord. Mm -hmm. That 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 sort of that little boy touched me. Amen. He was Amen. a good old. That was a good old boy. Yes. Yes. And I tell you one thing, the uh, the uh, the mom and the sing that song. Yeah. Man, she could play that keyboard. Yeah. That was a look. That was a that was a gift from God. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna sing. Um, I'm trying to sing. Trying. I'm trying to think of a song I'm gonna sing. Thank you, Chief. I'm trying to think of one. Yeah, Jesus use me. Be, um, be fat. C C B. Okay. Oh, Jesus use me. And no, no, don't refuse me. Surely there's a work that I can do. And even though it's humble, nor help my will to come Praise the Lord. Come on, Sister Dancy. All right, brother. Glory to God. I got a good one picked out. 179, fill my way with love. Somebody testify. Obey God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me walk, blessed Lord, in the way thou hast gone.
What about 286, the Glory Land Way? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. I'm in the Glory Land Way. Telling the world that Jesus saves today. Yes, I'm in the Glory Land Way. I'm in the Glory Land Way. Testimony, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to testify. Hallelujah. I'd like to testify. Praise the Lord. Lord. I've been wanting to testify, but it's been so good I ain't had a chance to testify. <laughs> and I'm not going to complain about that. Glory. <laughs> praise God, but God is so good. I just like to say that I thank the Lord for bringing me out of this sickness that I've just come through. You know, the first thing that when you get down like that and you don't know what's going on and you don't understand what's going on and you have no answers when everybody's asking you wanting a reason and knowing what's going on with you and you don't have an answer, it's difficult. Amen. But I just want to say that I thank God because, you know, this last thing that I went through, it really worried me because I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat. If I eat anything, it was horrible. I just could not even put food in. And I went that day that way for days. And so I didn't understand what was going on. And the first thing that I think about is my cousin Gail. And how we would have never dreamed that over a year ago, you know, when she got her diagnosis. And I was with her when she went to the surgeon. And Gail asked the surgeon that day, this was before everything really come down heavy. And Gail asked the surgeon, said, well, Doctor, what, how much time do you think I have? And she said, well, I hate to tell you, she said, but you probably have right at a year, if that long. And I want you to know that it was right at a year. And she was wiped out. And when I got down like this, I really thought about her. And the way that I felt, I thought, oh, God, you know. And fear, fear tried to grab me, Amen. Amen. you know, and tell me that I was going through the same Good thing. And the only thing that I could think of was Bonnie. Amen. And then I said, oh, God. I said, oh, God, you can't take me right now because Bonnie is in such bad shape. She's trying to recuperate from everything that's went on with her in the last few months. <laughs> I said, the last thing that Bonnie needs is for somebody else in her family to be called home right Amen. now. Amen. You know, we need to lift her up and encourage her, you know, and stand behind her. And when these things all started coming to me and worrying me, I thought, oh, God, no, God, you know, you can't do this right now, God. 
And I had never been this sick, so I don't understand it. But I've been under doctor's care, and I went back today for the third time. I went back today, and they had taken blood tests, and they said that all my blood tests had come back good. There was nothing showing that I should worry about. You know, and I told the doctor, I said, thank you so much. And I told her, you know, about the history about my cousin I had just left, not, I had lost not too long ago. But, you know, when you get like that, then that's the way you feel, you know. And you think, oh, God, you know, help Amen. me, God. Amen. But I just want to thank God because I finally was coming out of it the last couple of days. I've, I've been able to eat again. I tell you what, um, I spent all day Saturday with my daughter at a car lot, and thank God. She got a nice car, thank God. God really blessed her this year. And she got a nice car, but I had to stay at the car lot with her and her four children all day long. And I was so sick, you know, but I'm, I've been trying to hold in there and just do what I need to do, even though you're so sick. You don't know how you're going to make it, praise Amen. God. But I God is good to us. God is good oh. to all of us, praise God. And last Monday, I was very sick. I was at home. Y'all knew I wasn't even in church Sunday. And Monday, I was so sick. And I got a phone call. Oh, Lord, of all times to get a phone call, you know. But <laughs> I was so sick. Oh, y'all just don't know. You just don't know. When you can't put food in your body, you get weak. And you just about can't go. And sometimes you don't realize how weak you are. And I got a phone call Monday after all this time, months and months trying to apply for jobs. And nobody ever contacts me back. Nobody ever thanked me for applying. And I was just getting so frustrated because God knows how long I've been searching for a job. And so I get this call Monday when I'm so sick I can't hardly hold my head up. They want me to come in for this interview for this job I applied for. Oh, oh, so I'm like, okay, yes, I'll be there the next morning. I got in the car the next morning and tried to drive. I had I got halfway on the interstate and had to turn around and come back home because I was so weak and so sick I couldn't make it to the interview. So I had to call the man. Praise God for the grace of God. I called the man. I said, I can't make it today. But if you'll give me one more chance, I'll make it tomorrow. So I went back home, and I talked to Brother James, and I said, honey, will you please drive me tomorrow up, up there and let me get this interview? I'm sick, but I ain't letting nobody know I'm sick. I need a job. Lord, praise God. Bless you, God. And the bless next you. day, praise God, James drove me up there. And I had the interview, and I got the job immediately, immediately, right. praise, praise God. God. I'd done some tests that day. I've still got other tests to do. I haven't started my first day of work, but I'm hired. I've got the job. I'm just waiting for the day of orientation or however they're going <laughs> to do it. Glory. And when I was in Glory. the interview, the man looked at me, and he said, well, you know, I just think you're the one for this position. I said, well, great. I said, let's go. You know, I'm ready. Praise <laughs> God. I need a job. Glory. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Yes, God. And God has answered prayers left Amen. and right. Praise Amen. God. And then it reminds me of the word in the word of God. You know, it says that when we are at our weakest, mm -hmm. he is the Amen. strongest. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So sometimes it Glory. doesn't matter how bad we get down and how weak we feel. Because when we're weak and we think we can't go on anymore, God will step in. Praise God. Yes, he will. And he yes, will he carry will. us. Praise God. Glory. But I just want to thank God, praise God, that I made it through this time, praise God. It was difficult, but God is good, praise God, and I want to give him all amen, the glory. Amen, amen, amen. And praise God, for the last two amen. days, we've had four men in our house. They're remodeling, praise God. God is so good to us. Every time we turn around, God is providing somewhere and somehow. And God knows our heart. We had wanted to move recently because of things. But God has stepped into the picture, praise God. And for All the right. last two days, right. four men have been in our home remodeling. And they're coming back tomorrow, hopefully, to finish, praise God. And I got to thinking while I was getting ready for church tonight. But who can say in the last five homes that your family has lived in for has been remodeled in some way and somehow for you and your family and not a cent 
not a penny come out of your pocket. I can say that. Praise Amen. God. Glory to I God. can say Glory that. God. Praise God. Thank God you, is Lord. making Thank a you, way. Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, church. And you know, Lord. the other day I felt like putting on Facebook. I said I put on Facebook just a few words. And then what I put was, I hear the chains falling. And what I meant by that, praise God. The chains Thank of you, poverty, Jesus. praise God. The chains of want, praise God. The chains of lack, praise God. The chains that have bonded me Lord, and my family Lord. for a while, praise God. Lord, God Lord. is making a way, praise Lord. God. And these chains are falling, praise Glory. God. Come on, praise Lord. God. And God's going to get the glory for Amen. it, praise God. Amen. And I thank you, praise God. He's Lord. so good to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. I just felt like somebody needed to testify. Praise God. It, it said in Revelation, you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. But it don't stop there. And it said, and they love not their lives unto death. Talking about the great tribulation saints. But that's us too. We can, we can apply that to our lives. Man, if we'll testify and give God the glory, he'll help us through it. Praise the Lord. He wants us to magnify him, glorify him. Testify. Let the people know what God's doing in your life. Amen. Amen. Ain't he doing a good work in your life? Praise yes. God. Amen. Who else? Amen. Anybody else got a testimony? Praise the Lord. I just I thank the Lord for what he's doing in my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Glory. Yes. Glory. Yes. Yes. It's been great. Right. Right. Amen. Right. She was in a coma, man. She was out. Glory. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. If the church, the congregation would take this service we had Sunday and turn it encourage yourself and lift yourself up and get on another level. Amen. Amen. Glory to glory and from height to height. Praise yes. God. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on, Jesus. mommy. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's, man, that woman was out. You were, y'all weren't here. She went out she was in a coma. Out. And uh, God revived her. Praise the Lord. I said, she ain't going to die on my watch. Praise God. Ain't no way. Praise the Lord. God is good, ain't he, mommy? Praise the Lord. Anybody else before we come? I want to praise the Lord for what he's been doing in my life. In my home, I tell you, God has increased my income. I tell you what, God has been blessing me. And there's still more on the way. And I just praise God for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he's so good. When you obey God and do what the word tells you to do, God will lead you and he'll guide you. And he Amen. will not let Amen. you go. Amen. Hallelujah. He's been blessing Rachel. She got a nice car now from her daddy. Lord. And no payments, nothing. A real nice car. Lord. God's just been, I told her, I said, Rachel, we're all getting benefits from him being gone. <laughs> you know, and, and I just thank the Lord. Lord, you know that how God's been moving in blessing for us in our home. Praise God. Ain't that wonderful? Praise yes. God. Yes. Brother, go ahead, Brother Lynn. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the Lord. I went to the eye doctor today and my eyes are finer now. I'm back from the diabetes and I go every year and it's amazing. Amen. Amen. I don't even know that God's going to take care of everything. Just remember my wife in prayer tonight. I know God's going to touch her. Amen. He always does. does. Amen. We're going to pray for it. Glory yes. to God. Anybody else? Praise I, the Lord. I want to thank, thank the Lord uh, how good he's been to me. Uh, me and my mom went through, uh, like, a, like I guess what you call a 24-hour virus, and it, it yes. hit, hit her so hard that when it hit me, I said, oh, no. You know, so it scared me like silly. But anyway, I went, went to the doctor, went to the, the hospital, and they did like a big, gigantic workup on me, my blood and urine and everything. 
And guess what? I'm in extremely good shape. God, God is blessing, and He's touched my body. And, and they couldn't find anything. I said, "Well, all right just now. Just a virus." I said, "Well, praise the Lord." That's all. all right. Just a simple virus. This is all God. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else? Praise the Lord. That's all right. Amen. I'm glad to be here today. He's you know, popcorn there. I'll tell you one thing. We've been having some good service in my little Mohawk church. Amen. I was in one on Sunday. Uh, we had a little skit. Um, we, had a, um, we had something. Um, Virginia and Gary was talking about yeah. the, um, this, the thing we have. And talking about um, the skit. Yeah. It was some skit about Jesus. Amen. And Jesus is dead all the time, Brother Shane. Because I want to go home to heaven. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Brother all right. Charlie. Brother Charlie wanted to say something. Go ahead. Didn't you? Jesus. <laughs> Amen. 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 All right. He brings me through all kinds of stuff. Yes. Uh, he puts up with my attitude sometimes, which ain't pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. He's still working on me. He's still working, he's still on, working me. on me. Yes. He's gracious. He's gracious. Amen. I thank God for glory. Praise God. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Like All right. Give us a good song here. Praise God. Brother Charlie requested that I sing the Anchor Holds.
outpouring of the Holy Ghost, and tonight has been a good special night. I feel the presence of the Lord, and you know it ain't in the numbers; it's in the it's in the anointing; it's in the presence of God. He said, "We're two or three together, together in His name. He's in the midst." Uh, I just got a call from a, a missionary that went to a church, and uh, they went about to preach, and they only had six people, and they were two of them. Praise the Lord! So we're, we're blessed. We're really blessed when you look around. And I love the Lord tonight. I love Brother Shane giving the great big hand as he comes tonight to minister the Lord. The Word of God. We thank God for Brother Shane and the, the anointing in his life and the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Do it like you mean it. Come on now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I greet you once again in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's always a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is so good. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I too want to thank God.